I did. You know, we, we uh, statistically, it looks really bad. And, and, you know, we haven't been able to get any kind of rhythm or sustain anything in the run game, especially the last three weeks. But, you know, when you see, you know, we convert some third downs and move the change and you can get some rhythm going, then you see some positive things there. You know, perfect no, but I, I thought the backs did a nice job going where they're supposed to go. And we, we had some good blocking from our tight ends and our old line, so there definitely was progress. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, Brian Green's a veteran guy, so I feel comfortable getting him in there. Um, you know, you get some guys that get banged up a little bit throughout the weeks in the season, so getting them a blow in a series of two, I think, is a good thing. We're, we're still trying to, there's a couple younger guys that we're, you know, we're trying to develop and get them closer to where you feel comfortable putting them in, you know, in tough situations. So, you know, Baldwin has been able to get in there and do some things. So it, it's, uh, you know, we need that development and practice. And uh, like I tell them, you know, they, they got to show me and the staff that, you know, that whole week, you know exactly what you're doing and playing at a high level. So we're comfortable putting you in because at this point, obviously, every, every series has been critical. So that's where we're at, just continue to try to develop those young guys. You know, and, and if you say continue to develop, right? So it, it's, it's developing the football IQ to reacting well to things that aren't exactly how you think they're going to be, which happens all the time, right? You practice all week, they give you a different look, they, they new wrinkle. Do they have the football IQ to make the adjustments right now? Some of those younger kids, it's a little harder, right? So that's one part of it. And then the physical part of it, right? Just being able to, to play at a certain level in the run game and, and move people and then be technically sound and pass pro. That's, those are all things, and they're close. You know, the, the, if you look at the stats and look at this, the way things are going right now, nothing looks good. But if you just really analyze the five guys up front and watch them each play, you know, none of them are playing at a level where you're like, this guy's got to get replaced. we got to make a change. That hasn't happened. So, you know, it's, it's – I got to go with the best guys. At the end of the day, every every drive is critical. This isn't the time to experiment. I got to go with the best guys, and that's kind of where we're at right now. I like them a lot. You know, they uh, our defensive coaches said this is the best best group. You know, scout team look they've gotten since they've been here. They're they're big. They're physical guys. They enjoy to work. They enjoy the physicality of the game. You know, they don't. They, there's no backing off. No complaining. They like they like it. You know, we've even had to move like a big dooley, Christian Phillips. We had to put him, throw him in at D tackle on scout team just so we have a big body to move around. And he jumps in there and loves it. So I really like that group a lot. You know, he practiced well. And his attitude and uh, want to and everything has been really good. And, we, you know, Coach Reed's been talking about we need to get him in more. And he, and he got him in there. And I thought he ran really well, ran hard, you know, got extra yards, fought for extra yards made some people miss, broke some tackles. So uh, in my opinion, he keeps practicing like that. Playing like that, he got to get more carries. You know, coach talks about death by inches and, you know, you talk about coach speak, but it really comes true with what's going on out there right now. You know, we're, if you look at us offensively, you know, most of our possessions are starting back in our territory. And then you look at scoring drives of nine, 12 and 14 plays. You know, most teams it's hard to sustain for that long. Like, we need some explosive plays. That's really what you look at. We're missing right now is some explosive plays to get some big chunks so we can move it down. And when we've done that in these last couple of games, you've seen us move the ball and get in the rhythm. So we have to do a better job of, you know, you can't have a drop and it's second or third and ten. You can't be at the dang six-yard line and get a holding penalty. You know, we, we can't be in a position where we shoot ourselves in the foot because we haven't overcome it yet. And so explosive plays would help us in that world. And, and we got to be, I mean, we want to say perfect, but that's what we got to do. Everybody's got to do their job and execute at a high level. Yeah, this, this for sure this year, because we've been really clean, you know, we had, uh, we had the false start with the center when the nose kind of jumped, but he didn't cross the line of scrimmage and he moved the ball. Can't do it. You know, you, you, they're down there and they stem the D line and the guard flinches. Can't do it, you know. And then you, you get the, the two holding penalties. You know, and one of them is the six yard line. And then you watch the film and you got to understand, instead of this guy, I mean, inside technique, he's a head up technique, so your track's got to be different. You don't do that. You get out of position and you grab him. Now we're, now we're, we're behind the sticks. So, you know, one penalty is too much. So we, we've, we've addressed that at a high level this week and, and that should improve. You know, it, it's, it's mo most, most football player recruits understand 
the ebb and flow of what happens. You know, some of these recruits are losing games that they didn't expect to lose, so they understand it, right? People that are in this world understand that sometimes things don't go right. And then I think also they see, well, hey, you know, this team may not have the depth that we need to be as successful as we want to be. And that's a great opportunity for me to come in and maybe get on the field earlier. So, you know, everybody's been really good. Everybody's been very supportive. I think at the end of the day, what these kids really want to look at is what, what is your culture like? Like, if they see your team laying down in the fourth quarter, then they're not going to want any part of that. But you don't see that with this group. I mean, you see the defense bowing up at the goal line. You see people playing hard to the, to the end. So they see the culture still there, and, and, and everything's in place to be successful here. We're just not getting it done, and maybe they can come in and be the difference. So that's, what, that's the feel I get. Well, you know, statistically it is. You know, it looks better, but it's, uh, you know, again, I, I want it to be perfect. Like, we shouldn't give up one sack, you know, last week, and, and we did because of a sloppy set, just to be honest. But they, they've done a pretty nice job to this point of protecting and uh, taking care of uh, Thorn. And so, you know, but it's gotta be all of it. You know, we gotta be consistent across the board. And, you know, we can get into the run game and talk about every play and why it worked and why it didn't work. You know, we always talk about it takes 11 people to be great in a run game and it truly does. And so everybody has their hand in it, but, but they have done a pretty nice job protecting a quarterback. We need to continue that. We're gonna face some tough challenges coming up. Yeah, you know, th there's frustration, obviously. Uh, everybody's frustrated, but the, the thing I've really liked is there's there's no finger pointing, you know. Like we always talk about, you know, we got to just look at ourselves. If, if you've played the perfect game out there, then you may be in position to look at other people, but there's nobody's doing that. So what can I do? What can I do as a coach? What can I do as a player to improve every day to get us out of this damn thing? You know what I mean? And so that's kind of the mindset they've had. You know, they're, they're, they're bringing the tight ends and running backs in and meeting extra with them, and they're doing the little things because they want this. They, they understand what's going on, and they want, they want to stop it and fix it. So I'm, I've been really happy with how they've handled it. Yeah, they're, they're very good. Um, got really good players. Uh, I, you know, the, the new defensive coordinator, you know, I think he wants to create chaos, is what, what you see is you get a ton of different looks, people lining up in different places, you know, up front, he wants the secondary to kind of look the same every snap, but then it's completely different post-snap. Uh, you know, so movement up front with the D-line, different pressures. You know, he'll, he'll come after you, cover zero blitzes, where they're going to have more than you can protect with, and you got to be ready for that. So, you know, when you when you got a, a really good scheme and really good players, good things happen. You know, so for us this week, it's going to be really critical that – we're not confused or playing confused because that's what happens. People get hesitant, especially in the old line world. When people are moving around, you're not quite sure. That's when things become really soft and hesitant. Like we got to know where we're going, make our calls, and let's go. You know, and, it, and if something doesn't go right that play, move to the next. We can't play hesitant. We got to play aggressive, and that's going to give us our best chance. Yeah, it's, it's starting fast is, is, is important for most teams, but where we're at, I think it's critical just for the confidence of everybody. You know, whether it's run, pass, whatever it is, get the ball in the end zone, score some points. You know, we got to put the points on the board and whatever it takes to get there, that's what we got to do. So we all understand that. And, you know, last week you start off a little faster compared to the first two weeks, and then we lay an egg in the second half, you know, so we got to find a way to have four quarters and be consistent. And no, you know, like I said, they're veteran guys, you know, so they play them every year, you know what I mean? So I think maybe early in their careers, it's, it's different, but, you know, right now it's just it's just everybody's just determined and focused to improve so we can get better and get back in the uh, win column.